And we, we're going to talk about Satanism. That's one thing I forgot to mention because Lauren is upset with me. I'm not that I talk upset. About it too much. She's like, you should not be telling people about your religion. No, I, uh, I never said that. No just, freedom of speech. No. Oh, yes. Um, yes. No, I did say that. Evil, I hate freedom of speech. You're an evil, evil co-host. <laughs> she said all these things verbatim. Lauren no. texts me that every morning that I'm evil, actually. <laughs> yes. That I'm evil Satanist. And I agree. I do have Satanist tendencies. So. Yeah. Mm. I, 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 I'm not like, uh, I like, I don't go to church. I don't go and do black mass. I don't do none of that. I just found the philosophy that I read the book, the, the Church of Satan by Anton LaVey. And I just thought his philosophy was interesting, and he had some very important points to make. And there were a lot of things he said that I didn't agree with. Like, part of the thing is that he says that he's a totally rational person who doesn't believe in a spiritual world, and that we're, he's basically atheist, is what he's saying. And then he goes on and starts talking about magic. I'm like, hold, hold on. Hit the brakes. And that's when I had a problem with it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very, very strange thing, and he borrowed a lot of it heavily from objectivism. Right. So a lot of it's like hedonistic objectivism. So there's more emphasis on short term rather than long term values as far as pleasure is concerned. Mm. And then he accentuates the kind of craziness with a bit of the magic thing that came, yeah. and that came from a, a it felt number. like a different guy, like a different book. I, well, didn't, yeah. I, I couldn't follow mm. how he got from A to B. I really yeah. liked what he was saying in like the first two thirds of the book. And then I, 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 quit, I quit reading. I didn't read the last part of it because it was almost all magic stuff. Dale, oh, I'm so yeah. happy that we can both agree <laughs> on aspects of Satanism without weirding out every single human being. Because generally, whenever I bring up Satanism, people are like, what the hell are you talking about? I think well, I've gotten that reaction. Pretty there's a good reason for that. No, there's right? not. Yeah, the, I yes. understand. Now, the yes. people have a perception that the Christian church has created. And, 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 of, and, of course, Satan represents everything that is wrong. Everything that is, the, if, you, if you worship anything mm -hmm. other than God, that's Satan. It's basically just a All way right. of demonizing anything non-Christian. So, yeah. of course, it seems bad to anyone if you're coming from a Christian point of view. Well, yeah, Satan is, a, Satan is just a skeptic. Lauren is biting in, her tongue right now. Satan's and just, just a skeptic in the Bible, though. <laughs> he's like, he's like t telling yeah. Jesus, hey, if you're so powerful, why don't you ask God? Maybe he'll give you some stuff. He's like, I know. All the, that, whole, that whole section, I'm so glad you brought that up. Everything he's asking, I'm like, these are totally reasonable questions, and Jesus is like being all dodgy. Well, here's the thing to think about. That's right before he was crucified, right? So, so the Church of Satan by Anton LaVey is actually atheist. It's really just a philosophy of life. And a lot of it is, his, is him addressing his criticisms of Christianity. And not just that it's ridiculous and a fiction and things like that, but actually that a lot of the morality of Christianity is really backwards and not good morality. And he's trying to address morality from a more rational point of view that we do have this one life and that we should live it to the fullest and things like that. And that if you're living your life with the idea that there's this infinite afterlife, then this life becomes insignificant. And that's actually really bad advice to give people is to not live your life to the fullest right now. It's all you have. Satanism is not that bad. Like right. in a conversation, because what it makes it sound like is not only do you believe in God and the devil, you chose the bad guy. <laughs> right. Well, <laughs> right. So well, that's part of the problem, right? What's um, that? Well, it, it's entirely about the name. Obviously, this conversation you guys were just having proves that there are people who are good people, who are intelligent, uh, awesome people like yourselves. You still call it Satanism, and it, it's the it turns term. people off. But oh, I'm not trying to convert anyone well, to Satanism. It's just a fun thing. conversation so to have. If it's about like rational thought, right? It right. is correct. Okay, right. Then obviously it's irrational to think that there's some magical person that exists who's yeah. who's Satan, right? Who is this character? Right. right, and Satanists admit that, that he is a fictional character who's a symbol. But then, it's a symbol. But then Satanists are a-holes if they're using that term, because it, it riles shit. people up. I feel like it's it's just mean. Why would you do that to people? Oh, man. Why can't oh, you just it? call it, like, <sighs> rational intelligence? It's not mean. It's me. Look, uh, here's the thing. If I have uh, a, if I'm trying I, I, to make a, a statement about uh, something, if someone has a philosophy and I have a beef with their philosophy, and I'm responding to that as intelligently as I can, that's not be, be, being mean. I'm not attacking them. No, you're I'm not. I'm having a conversation with them and addressing what I think is wrong with their particular point of view. Why? That's not an attack. That's a discussion. So we were talking about Satanism, which Lauren doesn't like us to do. And no. I pointed out the parallels between <laughs> Satan or Lucifer no, the Lightbringer. I love that you talk about Satanism. That's okay. great. That's fine. Okay. But uh, I pointed out the parallels uh, between Lucifer the Lightbringer and Prometheus the Firebringer. I, I think, and it, it, this is, it, they're so similar 
that I can't help but wonder if these have common origins. A lot of myths, a lot of mythology has common origins and parallels. You see things about a great flood in multiple mythologies. You see things like, like this, for instance, well, uh, then, someone who rebels against the gods and brings some kind of asset to humans and is punished for it. Sorry I was about talking that. about okay. Satanism. So. I'm glad that you're not skirting the issue anymore because it's, it's a serious thing. There's a lot of people who would probably say, why would you call it Satanism? Why would you ever come up with that name? Because, and I'll, I think that's it's a just, valid question. It's just such a dick move. It's a troll I, move. It's a troll it's a to- move. It, a troll right, move. it gets people's attention. It is, but like, but if that's if cool it, when you're you're having a, a podcast or some kind of tele, like show or you're in media and you just want to get a lot of YouTube hits, and so you call your video like "Women Are Not Smart" or something. That's great. <laughs> a teaser title. Yeah, it's called a teaser title, right? And so, it, it, you, but why put a teaser title on an entire philosophy or on a religion? I don't. I think it's actually I relevant because. Well, I, I think it's relevant because if you're living in a society that is hugely dominated by a religious philosophy that you disagree with very strongly then it's it's not unreasonable to say that yes this is in response to that this, this is I, I there's this predominant belief that i have a criticism of and it is appropriate to say look that this is completely backwards the whole morality of it is completely backwards it is a, a very effective way of making a statement about the morality of christianity and what's wrong with it i've said before that christianity is a death cult that it's obsessed with torture and pain and then and elevates these things as the, as if there's some sort of uh, virtue, right? Uh, well, suffering and torture and pain. It's very clear to actually figure that out and express that. And even if you're not um, being told it, it's it's clear. Yes, it, it, Christianity is all of those things. They're doing it to get attention. Is that it? Is that the only thing? The only reason someone would do it? No, it's because they're also bringing up the uh, it's a how, philosophy. It's, yeah, it's the, not it's a, a philosophy it's a, it's a, because you can't have a philosophy, a philosophy on philosophy. something that doesn't exist. You right? absolutely can. You can totally have a philosophy based on a, fish, a fictional character and what that character represents. Sure, you, yes, you can. Yeah, That's it's true. called John Galt. Okay, the, yes, they, they there, do this there are all those the time. There's too. a, there's yeah, a John, you use a metaphor. Or uh, a kind of a myth that everyone realizes the fact that it's that's that it is mythical in order to kind of summarize some of the views in regards to what you have, which is totally fine. You, you may and as well we, say, why have a symbol? Yeah. Why have a symbol of your philosophy? Yeah. It's, so, it's, just talk about your philosophy. I'm like, well, I will. I will. But meanwhile, this is like in a nutshell. It's just like, but to me, it sounds like a, it's like I'm a Easter bunnyist or something. It's it just sounds uh, weird, right? Well, I I'm, think, I'm a Santa Clausist. But, Even after like, all these conversations we've had, you still does, it shouldn't still sound weird. I don't think. No. After I don't think it should. I think we've explained where, where we're coming from. Like I said, Prometheus Unchained. Is it was supposed that, to be that, funny? Was that a is, it a, is, it a, is it a joke? It no. was, do you think when we when we were called Prometheus Unchained again? Prometheus being an incredible parallel for Satan and Lucifer the Lightbringer, Prometheus the Firebringer, and our symbol is this Titan who's all ripped and sexy and hot, holding a torch up. And looking at it like, ah, this is freedom, the flame of freedom, right? And bringing it to the people. Was that, as, what do you, what's your beef with that, for instance? What, what I don't have any beef with that. I then like why that. do you have it, beef with, uh, with us talking with about Satan? this for the light bringer? Well, okay, let's be honest here. There is a rational reason why, which is that Ooh. everyone connotes Satan. All right. Hold that thought. This is Flaming Freedom. This is your host, Dale. We're going to be back right, we're going to be back in just a moment. So <laughs> stick around. I used to really identify with Prometheus. Um, I think I first heard the, the term in like middle school or something. And I was like, oh, that guy sounds so cool. Like I, I used as a little kid, I would collect flashlights. And so I like, I love that idea of bringing light and knowledge and being aware of your surroundings and, and just, just getting it and being self-sufficient. It, you know, it's okay. all about you. I get Versus it. Versus Lucifer, and then, the light bringer. Right. And you asked me, well, what's wrong with Lucifer? What's wrong with Satan? And because I haven't opened up a book, see, I opened up a book and read about Prometheus and it was like, this guy's really cool. When I open up books and read about Satan, he sounds terrible. So read the church of Satan by Anton LaVey. Okay. All right. Read that. And then and we'll, but, maybe we can have another conversation after you've read that. But most people on, in the world have opened up a book and read right. this something that says Satan's horrible. So if you of call course. yourself, oh, by the way, I'm a horrible thing, then that's. Then it just. But I'm not saying that. I'm saying they're they're. I know you're not saying that, but okay. you have so to, the, the language here, that we use is really important. 
Okay. If you use language that upsets people and makes them angry and sad, then they're never going to listen to you. You're going to shut out so many people. 